Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The preseason promo is starting to heat up with all of these insane transfer SBCs. We have one big one that was leaked yesterday, Renato Sanchez. We have two more very big transfer SBCs that are leaked to be coming soon. Two of the biggest transfers inside of the summer window are getting SBCs in this promo very soon. So I want to take a look at that, how they could be priced, when they could drop, talk about the market impact of fodder and other substitute goods. Like yesterday, we saw midfielders dropping with these two, Wijnaldum and Pogba, both dropped on the game. So I want to take a look at that. And of course, speaking of yesterday's SBC content, a campaign bag player pick that has us all just kind of scratching our heads and being like, EA, what's the point of this? You're trying to help, but also this is terrible value and it's not even really helping completely what people need to finish off some of these footies SBC. So I'll take a look at that. Maybe a little incompetence from EA Sports there. But man, this preseason promo is starting to heat up with these leaked SBCs. And that's where a lot of the hype is starting to build with these cards coming. So if you're excited for any of these leaks, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start by talking about these cards. The first leak yesterday is probably the biggest transfer of the whole summer window in its entirety. Erling Holland is added to come via preseason player SBC. Stats are a prediction, but you know it's going to be high rated and these stats are probably not far off. Again, this guy is already confirmed to be a once to watch in FIFA 23 and it just makes sense for him to get a FIFA 22 transfer SBC as well with the way EA are going with these things. And especially with this leak after Renato Sanchez, EA seemed to be really cranking it up and dropping some big boy transfers. Now, this Holland card is probably going to feel a bit like a truck in-game, right? Holland's cards in FIFA, you know, they're not bad. He's just a bit a different type of a striker. You know, he's not a Ben Yedder-esque player. He's going to be your tall, physical, great shooting stats, very pacey as well. But one thing that Holland's cards have never had, especially in this year's FIFA, is four-star skills. And this might be an opportunity for EA Sports to really go all out with a very high card. But also, I think there's potential for him to be a bit expensive. So what we really want with this Holland card is the five-star, five-star, because that's kind of... Honestly, that's kind of the baseline. A lot of the cards getting released right now are five-star, five-star. So we hope for that with Holland for sure. I could see it being four-star skills and a five-star weak foot. That'd be a bit of a bummer though, I think, for most people. EA, it's August 25th, just full send it. That's what we have to say about that. So again, the reason why I'm a little bit afraid of these cards maybe being a bit expensive is if you take a look at the showdown that we had just yesterday between Pogba and Wijnaldum, you know, Pogba, 323,000 coins. It's not crazy break the bank expensive. But if you compare that to the Ericsson and to the Nunez, both Ericsson and Nunez were under 200,000 coins before their prices rose up a little bit. Pogba being 320, Wijnaldum being over 200k as he was a little bit earlier. You know, I, I just think that maybe EA is going into a little bit more expensive part SBC wise of this promo, which I hope is not the case. Um, I guess I'm just a little bit, you know, thinking about it more after they released more expensive SBCs yesterday. Now, realistically, a Holland SBC like this, it's got Prem tax, it's got very big hype, you know, Holland, huge transfer. If, especially if they make him five star, five star, there's no questioning this could be probably the most expensive footies SBC, even more expensive than a Renato Sanchez. Uh, you know, it, it's probably going to be a little pricey. I would say, I don't know, it's hard to throw a number out there, maybe 500k. The other part of this is as well, we don't exactly know when. These SBCs are going to drop. Like I said, we have three leaks right now. This is the biggest one, apart from Renato being a really massive leak as well. We might see the first one of these SBCs today on Thursday. We might also not see one at all until Friday. Thursdays are always usually, always usually, great English, Nate, but usually very dry content days in total. They have been during footies. It's kind of like a catch-up day for objectives since there's a lot of different gameplay objectives out there. SBCs. So I'm really wondering if we're going to see one of these today. If we are, I think the one that we would see is Renato since he was leaked first. But what I'm also trying to start to think is these three SBCs might be what we see on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're just kind of I'm just kind of putting that out there. So that's really unsure. We're really unsure of when these guys are going to drop just in the following days. We know they are going to be coming. Now, I've mentioned three players and I've shown you two. You've probably seen the third one if you follow the Twitter leaks at all. But this is the one. Antonio Rudiger. 
the Real Madrid center back. This card, I mean, all I can think about when I think of Rudiger is how overpowered his team of the year honorable mentions card was early in the year. And everybody, before Varane was a thing in FIFA, at least Varane flashback, people used this guy. He was insane for his team of the year honorable mentions. And this card, especially with the links that he has now, not saying that Chelsea links are bad by any means, but with all the insane endgame Real Madrid teams, think about how many of you guys are using Eder Militao in your squad right now. Boom. This guy, great endgame replacement for an Eder Militao. You've got so many great Real Madrid players that have been available via SBCs, the Ferland Mendy, the Bale. Then you got other cards in the market like the Marcelo. It's just Vinny Jr. has been in packs and his price has dropped like crazy. Valverde has a card that is out. So many great Real Madrid links right now in this game. This is going to be a center back card. It could very well be the best center back in the game whenever he does drop. So that's why we're saying that EA is cranking up the hype with this preseason promo because they're dropping three massive SBCs for transfers, Holland, Rudiger, and Renato. Now, again, like I said, price points on these, all the other ones have been cheap. And we talked about it yesterday with the, the Renato Sanchez League. Lewandowski, Gravenberch have been very, very good value SBCs, but they're, they're both not Premier League. And yes, they're big transfers, but I don't think they're as hype. EA knows they're not as hype for most of the FIFA user base and maybe even in a meta sense for the user base as Holland, Renato Sanchez, and Rudiger. So just be a little bit careful with your fodder. I've kind of put the Mohamed Salah on hold personally just because... You know, I want to do these other cards that are being dropped that are in like the three to 500k range. They're a lot easier to craft. I did Wijnaldum and Pogba yesterday very easily because of their price points and because of the 85 times 10. I'm going to be completely honest. Even though the 85 times 10 is completable three times a day only, I have one more to go, I guess. Forgot about one of them. Um, you know, it still gives you a lot of that fodder. So it's. SBCs like these should be very craftable when they do drop. So I'll be on the lookout for a, either Renato, Holland, or Rudiger today. But again, like I said, I could also see this just being three SBC cards that we would see released over the weekend. So it's really just going to come down to today at content on Thursday. What is going to happen? And are they going to drop one of these on a Thursday? Or are we going to have to wait until tomorrow on Friday? We will have to see. Now, like I mentioned, going back to yesterday's content, just a little bit and start to start and talk about the value of these showdowns and the value of these SBCs. Like I said, Pogba Wijnaldum, a little bit expensive to my liking, but just because last week was such great value and such great players as well with Ericsson and Nunez, I was hoping for a little bit cheaper on Pogba Wijnaldum, but it's definitely not terrible, right? It's just enough to be slightly annoying, let's be honest. Wijnaldum's card is probably the better of the two. Conte-esque, five foot nine, five star, five star, high, high work rates great boost on his card. I know a lot of people from a FIFA meta perspective think that that's the better value SBC here, but also I'm telling you guys, I'm not a gameplay pro, but I use this Pogba card. He was actually pretty phenomenal with the long legs, his height. He does have the five-star skills, of course, the five-star weak foot. He doesn't have the best agility balance or stamina. A lot of people are like, man, 87 stamina is bad, especially using him in golden goal modes. I didn't get to test that out, but this card was very, very fun to use. He had the sticky, he had the jam, and he his defending was actually incredible. Like 91 interceptions, I thought it was higher than that. Kind of has that Vieira type build, right? The long legs, really, really great SBC. French links, of course, great for Serie A squad building. I'm a, I'm a fan of that SBC, and I'm finding myself hoping that that Pogba gets upgraded. And I think a lot of people would be a fan of that happening this weekend as well for that game on Saturday. So a couple of games, a couple of days to complete that. If you're somebody who's tight on fodder, tight on the coins, definitely wait until you see more SBCs come out this weekend. You have a couple days to wait just to see, hey, what should I use my fodder on? If Renato drops, maybe I shouldn't do Pogba or Wijnaldum. That's absolutely something to think about. Now, also speaking of fodder. Prices did spike again yesterday on your 83s. A lot of these guys went up, again, around 1,000 coins a card, some of them a bit more. Jesus from low 2K range, 2.1, all the way to 3.1. These cards will drop this morning on Thursday because of Division Rivals rewards. They will get supply. It's happened the past week. The past, like, three or four weeks, actually, we've seen on Thursday mornings, people are still taking tradable rewards, and they're grinding this game. You're going to see these fodder cards drop. But now, honestly... 
while you want to look at this kind of fodder today, probably your 81s to 82s, 83s, 84s, good time, great time to club stock some of this stuff to maybe get your 85 times 10s done for cheaper, make a few coins, whatever it may be, is your goal right now. Where I think this is really going to impact the market the most today are some of your non-rares. And I'm just kind of, you know, making up a search filter here, but let's say Premier League gold center backs, like some of these, you know, non-rare golds are going up tons every single day some of these cards are going from like 2k to 8k literally every single day i even know one card uh shout out to tribal scan in the, in the stream this locatelli 82 rated card he was buying at 2k before um pogba dropped and now this guy is 10,000 coins as an 82 rated because you need the piemonte calcio links in that sbc there's not a lot of supply right now it's all demand cards like this some of your some of these random non-rares sell for crazy amounts of coins right now in this game like look nine and a half k for this locatelli card insane right stuff like this is happening daily on the market and you just have to know the right places to look you have to know the right cards and today with rewards some of those cards are going to get some very well needed supply so make sure if you're into that market at all absolutely go out there and check and especially if you're like trying to think about some marquee matchups and investments for stuff like that People need coins right now and they need fodder. People are doing marquee matchups about every week. Now, you could see a few less price rises for MMs today because last week there was a token involved with this and that drew some more action to this and probably some more people, uh, less people actually. Well, there'll be less people this week doing it because we have all 50 tokens. There won't be a token available today for marquee matchups. But, you know, that Roma and Juve game could very well be one of the games inside of marquee matchups. Or, you know, I think Monaco PSG play this weekend. So that's just watch out for some of those marquee matchup cards to move today. But just your other ones in general that move like every single day. Just go on Footbin and start looking through some random non-rares that are like center backs, right backs, midfielders, right wing, left wing. Like some of these guys, even goalkeepers move a ton every single day. So if you know where to look, Look, you can make some big coins on that. But in general, there will be a decent amount of supply, especially on that fodder range this morning. I would not be surprised to see some of these 83s. You know, like Lucas Accomplice right now is like 2.7, 2.8K, like just around 3,000 coins. Right now for an 83, I wouldn't be surprised if he's 2K or under. And a lot of 83s hopefully should be around 2K or under today on Thursday. It'll be a great time to club stock because, again, if a Renato, if a Holland or Rudiger were to drop today, then I think you would see some of those prices rising up later on. Great opportunity to stock some cards in the club this morning. Also, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, when we see a Renato SBC or one of these SBCs that just brings a lot of hype, right? And we have three, like I mentioned, three big leaked ones that are moving the market or have potential to move the market. Yesterday with the Pogba dropping and the Wijnaldum, that did do a number on some of these midfielders. Sergio Ramos was a card that we looked at yesterday and we're a little bit you know, worried about, I guess you could say, with the Renato upcoming. This card actually dropped off a lot yesterday with Pogba and Wijnaldum from 165K all the way to 130. Now he's back up right now to about 150. Late night, getting rare, kind of bouncing back as he is not in packs right now for batch one of preseason. Just keep an eye on your midfielders again today. Or, you know, if Holland gets dropped, keep an eye on some of your top tier strikers that still sell. Like I know Ramos is a striker. So you're like, Nate, he's a striker. Well, he also plays a lot of midfield for a lot of people. So, you know, a Holland dropping. Yeah. You would want to keep an eye on like a shapeshifter's son or Cards like that in this game, maybe even like a team of the year, Ronaldo, people, if they have that tradable, maybe even some of these icons like Pushkas that are still end game top tier striker cards that people might have in their clubs tradable still that are trying out since their prices are so much lower. Those are going to be the types of cards that will be impacted in the market the most. Even Marcelo yesterday was impacted by Pog, but take a look at this. Marcelo going from 495,000 coins all the way to 440 and then... After seeing the Rudiger leak, he's kind of bounced back up to 480, 490. So it's kind of a mixed bag of a whole lot of things for a few of these cards because, again, Ramos links to Renato, but he also might be replaced by him when that SBC drops. Marcelo links to Rudiger, so he's up a little bit for that. Just kind of stuff you have to look out for. You're probably not going to see as many crazy fluctuations on these cards, but, you know, this Marcelo as well, up so much since he went out of packs after footies. Yesterday he was 394. Uh, went up to 460. This card's definitely inflated because of that Rudiger 100%. 
Um, even though it's actually around the same price as the 97 rated, the better version of Marcelo. Since it's a left back, I think more people will actually value that Marcelo because they've maybe done Ferlin Mendy or they have other insane midfielders that they use instead of wanting to use the striker version of his card, which is kind of crazy to think about. But that's just kind of how it goes in this game right now with all the insane mental cards that we have on this game. Now, that's kind of a little uh, a little bit of a market roundup. I mean, the cards that are in packs are preseason batch one. They should see a little bit of supply today, but you know, they won't get impacted too much. People are just more so going to pack those fodder cards and that's what's going to drop them in price a little bit today in terms of the fodder market from Rivals Rewards. Now, really quick to end this video off, I do want to take a look at this player pick right here, the campaign bag player pick. And right here, I think what EA was trying to do, they were trying to do something nice. They really were. They were trying to give us a player pick that would give us those players that we need to finish off the Salah, to finish off the Mendy, the Griezmann, right? A lot of you guys are like, Nate, I'm so close to finishing these guys off. I just need foot birthdays, winter wild cards, or foot captains, that sort of stuff, right? Well, EA Sports goes and releases a campaign bag player pick that gives you winter wild cards, fantasy foot, or foot birthday players. The problem is... There's no foot captains or future stars to be found. Foot captains and future stars are still very hard to find on the market. They're not in packs right now. And the other problem with this SBC is it requires an 88 rated squad, which is ridiculous. You only need an 87 rated squad for a 85 times 10, where you get 10 players back and you're supposed to turn in an 88 rated squad for one player that you're going to go and then turn into an SBC. This literally makes zero sense. So, if EA was going to do something like this, they should have released it as an 83 rated squad and they also should have included foot captains and future stars in this player pick because this is like EA was trying to help us, but they've actually just created more of a problem. The only thing that this does help is if people needed winter wild cards or fantasy foot or for birthday, any of those three that are available from this, now you have something that is worth doing even though it's very expensive, you at least have an option to get those cards that you need to finish a Salah SBC, right? For the fantasy or for the foot birthday cards or a Griezmann or a Mendy or a St. Max or a Neymar. A lot of people are trying to finish Neymar and they can't get captains foot birthdays or fantasies and right, they still can't get captains cards, but at least they're, they're one closer by getting, you know, some fantasies and some foot birthdays from that player pick. But again, that SBC just EA, like, what are you doing, man? You should have kept these cards in packs anyways, because you kept demanding them in these SBCs that were still out from footies. That's just a bit of a head scratcher, 100%. But that was kind of the news yesterday on the game. There wasn't a whole lot going on there. USA soccer fans, football fans, I said the S word, yes. Uh, Silver Stars, Aronson's a pretty dope card. I'm excited for this one. Um, I think it's his first special card in FIFA like ever. So that's just kind of cool. Also, last call. Last call for some of your foot 23 objectives. The kickstart foot 23 I am two out of three on the Liga. I need to do Bundesliga and Serie A yet. These have gone pretty fast for me since the stream ended um, earlier yesterday. But these go away tomorrow on Friday. So make sure you grind through these if you're trying to. Preseason Cup does not go away until Saturday. Um, so it's not like the old Cups. So you have a little bit extra time here. But it's worth noting that you are in the end for that sort of time frame for those objectives as well. Honestly, bring on the content EA Sports. The preseason SBCs, I still wish they had dynamic images. It would make the cards look so much better. But I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm not expecting it anymore because none of the other transfer cards have had them just of yet. I think it's a rights issue. It's something that EA just can't do, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We're still getting a lot of really cool cards right now. There's a lot of SBCs to grind, a lot of content. And it's late August. We really can't complain too much. It's a W, especially with the big three leaks that we have. I kind of hope we see one today, but I'm reserving a little bit of judgment because it might not be... Until tomorrow, we'll just have to see. But if you enjoyed today's video, hit a thumbs up on it. If you're excited for any of these leaked SBCs, hit me down in the comments. Tell me why you're excited. Tell me which ones you want to do. But of course, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys in a video soon. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and catch you guys later. Peace out.